Hey everybody, it's Dave from Wild Wings. Uh, we picked up a 20 year old uh, fifth wheel. It's a 32 foot Lakota, uh, which we love very much and we've lived in it full time for a little over a year and a half now. And it came with a fantastic bent fan, uh, which is a, a serious exhaust fan put in the ceiling. And well, it, it finally broke on us. So instead of trying to repair a 20 year old exhaust fan, we picked up a brand new one, did some shopping, and decided that uh, the Fantastic Vent Fan is a good one to replace the old Fantastic Vent Fan. So I'll show you how I did it. You can watch me. And hopefully I did everything correctly. Uh, I did a lot of research to make sure that I did it the best that I possibly could, since it's a hole in the roof. All right, everybody, check it out. Here's the stock Fantastic fan that we have here, it's about 20 years old. You can see after we turn it on, the roof doesn't open. It's time to replace it. And we'll start by removing our mounting screws from our trim ring. And we'll slide our trim ring down off of our fan. We'll pull our power wires down. And now up on the roof, you can see we have plenty of sealant to remove, so we can take the fan off the roof. And on this model, we have to remove the hinge in order to remove all of the mounting screws. And I used a thin metal putty knife to score along the edge of the fan, making sure not to go too deep so we don't cut into our RV roof liner. And I will take the sealant off the hinge mounting screws. And we remove the mounting screws from the hinge. And I use that thin blade to score along the edge of the hinge and help that hinge off our mounting surface. We remove our screws from the mounting surface. And I use a plastic panel removal tool to scrape the rest of the sealant off the fan mounting surface. We had a couple of screws that allowed water in and needed a helping hand to unscrew. I also used that plastic panel removal tool to help pry that butyl tape off of the roof surface. And once it was released, the fan easily came out and I tipped the fan on its head. And I used that plastic removal tool to help me remove as much of the old sealant as possible. I cut the fan free from the wires. And here I used rubbing alcohol to clean the RV roof surface. and I decided to do a twist solder tape for our wire connections. And our trailer came with two positives and two negatives. I decided to hook it up the exact same way, stripping plenty of wire to make sure we had plenty of wire twisted together as tightly as possible. And after the wire was nice and hot, I pushed enough solder to make sure that it was a great connection. And I twisted plenty of electrical tape around our solder joint And I repeated these steps for the positive wire as well. And I used acetone to clean any oils off of the mounting surface of our new fan, putting butyl tape along the edge, cutting the ends right along the edge of the fan. And pushed that butyl tape down into the surface real well. And I used a wet seal sealant slash adhesive highly recommended by Sunrise RV in Escondido, California. And just cut the top off, screw your tip on. You can load it into any standard caulking gun. And we'll remove the plastic from our butyl tape and slide the fan down into that stock hole on the roof. I put a bead of sealant around the edge and also put some sealant down into every screw hole before I screwed it down. And we opted for the rain hood so we put plenty of sealant on our mounting bracket before we screwed our mounting bracket to our mounting surface of our new fan. And I did use a, a thicker gauge screw just to make sure we got a good bite. And making sure not to over tighten any of these screws so we don't strip the holes. And 
And then I used that sealant to cover every screw hole and go along the edge of our mounting surface. And I used a knife to help convince that sealant to spread out nicely, making sure there was no air bubbles. And then I pushed plenty of sealant underneath those mounting brackets to make sure there was no air gap so there was no water to be allowed into our roof. We mounted our trim ring from underneath, wiggling the screw around to find that stock screw hole. And back on the roof, we slid our rain hood down onto the mounting brackets, put a washer in our safety clip, holding our rain hood in place. And this fantastic fan has a remote, you can turn it on and off. You can set the speeds from 10% all the way to 100%, going by levels of 5%. And you can also set temperatures so the fan will adjust its speed automatically, depending on the temperature inside of the RV. And this one also has a rain sensor, so if it did sense rain coming in, it would close the door of our fan. Pretty smart little fantastic fan. We love this thing. After a hot day, we use this fantastic fan to blow all the hot air out and suck cold air in. And if you did find this video helpful, subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and family that also have RVs. Uh, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching our show. We do appreciate it. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.